ancient forest. He's the uh, Sierra Club's uh, coastal forest uh, campaigner, uh, Jens Wieking, who also has a specialty on climate uh, change issues in relation to old growth forests. We have Jens. For 
example, uh, here we can see the emissions from forests are now increasing to an unacceptable level. So it's due to a combination of destructive logging, of mountain pine beetle, of forest fires. The latest data shows us that um, from 2008 to 2009, emissions from our forests have doubled and uh, emissions, carbon dioxide emissions from, coast, from BC's forests are now almost as high as the official BC emissions and uh, the emissions from forests are actually not included. So this information is buried somewhere in, in uh, the data sheet on the BC government website but it seems that nobody in the BC government is paying attention about these massive uh, increases in carbon emissions. So, um, BC's forests should really be one of our best allies in the fight against global warming, but instead we are seeing that we no longer a carbon sink, but increasingly a source of carbon dioxide. And uh, this is really shocking because um, BC's temperate um, rainforests, in particular the coastal rainforest, is one of the best carbon banks on the planet. Um, so nowhere else on the planet do we see similar carbon storage per hectare like in, in this region. And uh, not using this opportunity and protecting our last remaining old growth forest is um, one of the worst examples of a missed opportunity. There's one place in the province where we see some progress. So in, in the Great Bear Rainforest, uh, with a combination of protected areas and a new system called ecosystem-based management, we've seen that change is possible and it's not fully implemented yet, but um, once fully implemented, uh, there will be um, two million hectares of rainforest in protected areas and hundreds of thousands of hectares of rainforest outside of these protected areas of limits to logging. And it's absolutely critical that we let the BC government know that we want to see this conservation model fully in place. The problem is that, unfortunately, uh, it appears that the current priority of the BC government is all about resource extraction. So I was um, uh, stunned to see that just this month, Premier Christy Clark complained in Northern BC about all the naysayers. So apparently she said, I'm tired of hearing people say, no, I don't want that development. No, I don't, I don't want those trees cut down. No, I don't want that mine. I don't want that well drilled. She said, we need to move to yes. <laughs> and I, I like the part of yes. So I think that uh, it's really time to send a very loud and clear yes across Victoria and hopefully the Premier will listen. And uh, so I would like to ask you, do you want the BC government to protect old growth forests?